So the Spot Ethereum ETF has been approved and now speculation turns to what altcoin will be next to get an ETF approval. In this video, I'm going to go through the top three contenders and why now might be an ideal time to start building a long position on each of them. First off, though, seeing as we are doing some technical analysis, we might as well start with Ethereum and get straight into it. So we're on the wiki time frame. As I went over on Monday, we've held the moving average 21, moved up really well, looking like a very strong weekly candle close indeed, well above the moving uh, average 21 and the RSI 50. In terms of a weekly candle close, though, I would like to see a weekly candle close above 3645, which is these candle tops here previous resistance from back in the end of March and start of April. You can see this wick we had here at the beginning of April as well. So we'd like to see a weekly candle close above that and then everything is looking very good indeed. If we go down to the daily time frame, again, we've got this level from back on the 17th of March. There's been resistance ever since then. We've barely got above it um, since then until literally a few days ago on the 21st, which obviously after the ETF announcement and we've been holding that as support uh, for the last three days which is very good including yesterday's volatile day as well so holding above that which is also just above that weekly uh, level that i'd like us to close over, close over as well so above 3700 or 3650 looking very good and then even if we go down to the four hour time frame you can see that we are holding above that level quite nicely even on the four hour time frame as well we're above the rsi 50 we've got a green trend bar on the lc trend and momentum indicator and we are holding the moving average 21 as well so ethereum looking very good indeed let's hope for the four hour daily and weekly closes above 3645 so with that out of the way let's take a look at the three potential uh candidates for a ETF or spot ETF. So, of course, this is all speculation. There's no, um, you know, there's not been any applications or any paperwork or anything like that. But from crypto Twitter, these are the three most anticipated uh, assets for a potential spot ETF. So, first of all, is Solana. So, if we start on the higher time frames, and as I said at the beginning of the video, what I'm going to be doing is going through reasons why, from a technical technical analysis standpoint, all three of these assets look very good for starting to accumulate for a long position with that spot ETF potentially somewhere in the future. Of course, as I say, just speculation for now, but it is a good narrative to run off. But in terms of the technical analysis on the weekly time frame here for Solana, you can see that we're currently in a range, the range low being at 137, uh, range high at 204, and we're currently stuck this mid range at $170. So you can see the weekly range lows, we've held those for a number of tests all the way through April and May, holding those weekly range lows, also holding the weekly moving average 21 as well. So that is a very good sign of strength, well above the RSI 50. Uh, in fact, we're above uh, above 60 on the RSI, so very strong indeed. The only thing that does give me um, a bit of a caution sign is this wick we've had here uh, this week, which is currently closing below that weekly mid-range of $170. However, still a couple of days to go. We may well push past that with a bit of strength over the weekend. If we go back into or down to the daily time frame, you see we've had a bit of a retracement since uh, the start of the week. So on Monday, we had a nice strong bullish candle and we've retraced since then. I think that's due to money flowing into Ethereum. But you can see we are still above the moving average 21. In fact, we've wicked off it so far today, which is a good sign. We're above this daily level of 156. So if we were to see a bit of a further retracement, I'd like to see $156 hold as support as a higher low. So you can see previous level of resistance, hold that as a higher low. Uh, and maybe retest the RSI 50 as well. But you can see holding the moving average 21 for now above the RSI 50. And we've got green trend bars uh, on the LC trend and momentum indicator as well. So currently looking good. We just need a bit of a reversal from this point. If we go down to the lower time frames, down to the four hour. So what you might want to do if you are looking to build a position or maybe even a short term trade on Solana is look for a four hour close above $167. You can see clear level of previous support now flipped to resistance. Close above that. Try and get a close above the RSI 50 as well and uh, also reclaim the moving average 21. When you start seeing that trend up, then that is probably a good start, a good starting point to start building a position. But on the higher time frames, daily and weekly, currently looking good. We just need a weekly candle close above $170, and then we should be moving up to that $200 mark at the weekly range highs. If we move on to the next candidate, then Doge. So on the weekly time frame, you can see again we're in a somewhat of a range. We've got these uh, weekly level 
uh, range lows at about 13.7 cents. Weekly range highs resistance at 19.4 cents. You can see we broke over the top, deviated back inside. But in terms of support, we've been holding this 13 cents level um, of support for a long time now, since the beginning of March. Uh, multiple tests but held each time and as you can see we've also been holding the moving average 21 as well so looking good for continuation as well we're above the RSI 50 and green trend bars on the weekly time frame so that looks pretty good a bit of a cluster of resistance here around this sort of 16 cents area let's move down to the daily time frame and you can see where that resistance is a bit clearer so on the daily time frame again things still looking good we're above the moving average 21 trending up uh, we're above the RSI 50. You can see the LC trend of momentum bar is just starting to turn green on the daily time frame as well. However, what we need to get past is this daily level resistance here at 16.9 cents. You can see this has been resistance since the 15th of April. No daily closures above it or a very slight one here on the 21st of May, but then close right back below. So what you want to see is a daily close above 60 or call it 17 cents. Nice strong daily candle above 17 cents. Flip that level of resistance into support and then we can start to see the moving average trending up and see us trend up above the RSI 50 as well, which we're currently sitting just above. So at the moment, day looking good, just need to get a push above 17 cents and then we could see a, a retest of those highs at 19.4 cents. And if we break over that on a weekly time frame, then I think we are off to the races. Let's have a quick look down at the lower time frames on the four hour. And it's looking pretty good. You can see we've been holding this four hour level of support at 15.8 cents pretty well over the last few days. We've also reclaimed the moving average 21 just on the last four hour candle as well. Currently holding as support, which is pretty good. Above the RSI 50, the only trouble is we do have a red trend bar on the LC trend and momentum indicator. And that is due to obviously this sideways downward chop as well. However, of course, if we continue up, and start uh, trending, can continue to trend above the RSI 50 and above the moving average 21. I'm sure these trend bars are going to start to turn green. But what you really want to see, as I said before, is that daily candle closing above 17 cents. And then I think that is a really good uh, starting point for continuing to build a long position. Finally, then, Link, which has been a pretty good performer on the day, if we just go to the higher time frames. In fact, if I just show you on the coin market cap, you can see that it is the third best performing asset today in the top 100. So something definitely going on there with Link. If we take a look at the higher time frame, it's actually been performing pretty well the last two weeks. Again, in a bit of a range, range lows at $12.60, range highs $18, and mid range here at about $15.26. Lots of chop all in and around this range, as you can see, all the way through from November. And you've got to remember as well, Chainlink was the first mover uh, back at the end of 2023. So in October 2023, that was the first mover and that's what kicked off um, the, the big the big rally. So that may be something um, there may be something going on with Link that we, we don't know just yet. But uh, as I say, could be a, another good narrative to follow. So if we take a look at the weekly time frame, as I say, we're in this range, pushing up to these weekly range highs of about $18. If we can get a close above that, then uh, we could be uh, on our way for a breakout in terms of the weekly moving average as you can see closed above it last week and held it as support today trending above the rsi 50 so it looks pretty good indeed if we go to the daily time frame again closed above this daily level of resistance here about 15 dollars 57 came down for a nice little bullish retest yesterday whipped right off it which was also where the moving average 21 was as well so that looks really good well above the rsi 50 so lots of momentum uh, in this pair and you can see as well green trend bars on the lc trend and momentum indicator as well now the only trouble with this is you're a little bit close to these weekly range high resistances uh to jump in now so maybe take the risk have a, a small starting position but be wary we may well reject off this level of resistance here and and roll back over but in terms of if you, if you want to wait for confirmation wait for that weekly candle close above 18 dollars and then potentially jump in on the lower time frames on the four hour Again, you can see closed above this four hour level resistance here at $16.88. Nice little retest yesterday and this morning. Bounced straight back off it. Also bounced off the moving average 21 as well. Well above the RSI 50 and we're just starting to turn this trend bar green as well on the LC trend and momentum indicator. But again, in terms of jumping in here, maybe a little bit too late. You're very close to not only the four hour level of resistance, which is the start of this sell off here back on the 12th of April, but uh, also that weekly range higher that we just mentioned as well. So I think with Link, you might want to wait for that confirmation of a weekly candle close above $18.
whereas uh, Doge and Sol look pretty good. Um, as I say, Doge needs that daily close above seventeen dollars, and then uh, seventeen cents rather. And uh, and Solana, as I say, we just need that turnaround on the four hour time frame as well. Four hour close above one six seven, and maybe start looking at a long there. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. Drop in the comments below what assets you're looking at accumulating over the coming period, over a potential alt season, and what assets you think could potentially be next in line for a spot ETF. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, subscribe and uh, have a good weekend.